What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. This time, man, week 16, Daniel Taylor still catching passes, stiff-arming people, dragging them from yards. Going up against New Orleans Saints, a real division rivalry. Daniel Taylor on another angle route, going ghost, turning on the Jets. On the defense, man, they can't catch them. Going up against New Orleans Saints, man, in the... Superdome? I almost said Georgia Dome. It's the away game. We got the all white jerseys on. They got the well, it's mostly all white, mostly going against all black. Got a little bit of gold, got a little bit of red. You know, you, you get what I'm saying. But Dale Taylor though, turning on the speed, burning out that whole defense. You already know Quincy Blunt still playing a linebacker. Still watching stuff unfold. Croy Beerman ending up stopping Mark Ingram. Lost it two yards. After another first down, man. It's we we taking this a little bit light. The last couple games of the season for the Atlanta Falcons, it's just, you know, you already know you're in the playoffs. You're not going to be in for that many plays. I'm going to risk an injury or anything like that. It sucked, you know what I'm saying, have a torn ACL, you know, like the last game, second to last game of the season, you know, which which is this. This is the second to last game. It's week 16. Next game is week 17. We go up against the Carolina Panthers. So two divisional games back to back to finish the season pretty tough jimmy graham was able to hold on to that catch after like three people hit him but drew Brees, man he does what he does best and unfortunately playing linebacker when the offense is passing a lot it's not really much that you can do it's you can if he throws it over the middle then it's something you can do but other than that, then there's not really much you can do playing linebacker. Unless you're blitzing, then you could probably sack him. But they don't tell it. Straight up the field. Giant hole in the defense. We're going to find that. And another angle route. Can we get in the end zone again? This time we cannot run over the safety. He comes up and makes the tackle. First and goal. We on another passing route. Wide open in the flats. Matt Ryan does not throw it. He's trolling. He's a hater. Matt Ryan is a hater. He doesn't feel like giving Dan Taylor the ball. Any more than he has already done in the season. The most productive NFL running back this season was Dale Taylor. But this time he finds Julio Jones open in the end zone. Almost got swatted out, but Julio was able to catch it. Torn the crowd right there. He pointing to him. This time he about to jam up Marcus Colston. We see the route happening, but we let him go. Let him go into the safety. We got the help over the top. That route was guarded perfectly all the way down the field. We end up getting the interception. And that's how the Atlanta Falcons became the number one defense in the NFL. Another passing play. I'm telling you, we're not running the ball as much. We ran it a lot early in the season. Because we was, we was getting led by Daniel Taylor. This time we pass it to Daniel Taylor out the backfield with the spin move on Kenny Vaccaro. Hard to bring him down. He's too strong, too quick, too agile. It's too everything for the defense to stop. But another big hole by the Falcons offensive line. Wish we could do that in real life. But this is, man, we get still getting yards. First and goal. See if we can get another touchdown, man. We fighting for more yards. Down to the three-yard line. Kick the field goal after that, man. 17-7. to seven. We up by 10 in the fourth quarter. Still fighting for you. Look how many people just laid on top of Daniel Taylor. It took four, three people to bring him down. It's really crazy. And that's something I like to see. Uh, even though it's not like an official like animation, it just happens because of the Infinity Engine. I do like seeing like gang tackles for like stronger running backs. I talked about it, about how it should happen. But you see this run right here. The power to bounce off a tackle. The speed to outrun a cornerback to get to the edge and make a miss just to get that first down. Man, this time we go into the screen, man. Third and 12. The blockers didn't catch up. We outran the blockers. Too much speed that time. But we do a no huddle. Fourth and four, we're going to run the ball again. Coming up, bouncing off a block. Getting the first down, man. We just that tough. As I was saying, man, the game tackles, I do want to see those back in Madden. They got an animation for anything else. They should at least add one or a couple for, for like, gang tackles, gang stripping. If you strip the ball when there's a whole bunch of people around, that would definitely be nice. It make the game a lot more realistic. You know what I'm saying? I, I go over that another time. But we end up getting stopped on the one-yard line. So you already know what we're going to do. The Quincy Blitz, of course, the Saints is going to pass for some reason. I don't know. On the one-yard line, they decide to pass. But Quincy Blunt gets the safety on Drew Brees. And we out here just 
just it was a nice play call. It, it really didn't matter if we scored, so we went for it. They stopped us. We ended up getting the safety, so we get two points and the ball back. After Quincy Blood showing up, he ain't even celebrate. Didn't matter. It's the end of the season. You know what I'm saying? We already going to the playoffs. His only tackle up to this point and his only sack ends up being that first safety, the first sack on Drew Brees all game. Like, that's really crazy. One tackle is under a minute left in the fourth quarter. This time we on offense again. Just hand it off. You know what I'm saying? The game is over right here. 19 to 7. Beat him by 12 points, man. Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints definitely going to have to find some, something new to do in real life because they do not have Jimmy Graham. Still might have Drew Brees, but I don't know if he can pull off a Tom Brady and just make 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 somebody out of nobody. You know what I'm saying? He still got Marcus Colston, but I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But in this game, though, we already know Dan Taylor's a beast. Quincy Bond a beast. Atlanta Falcons is a beast in this whole season. Going into the playoffs. On a real high note, I'm gonna show you all the stats and everything at the end of the game. Y'all see, they t they only touched down in the game. It was a blown coverage. We both diving in the end, diving in the end zone, and uh, that is it though. That is it for this game. That is it for this video. So uh, this video is coming to an end. Matt Ryan stats always on point. But uh, look at this. Only 4.9. No rushing touchdowns for Daniel Taylor. That's really crazy. But receiving though. Led the team in receiving, had a 18.2 average, had over 100 yards, had a touchdown. Real tough. Quincy Blunt all the way at the bottom. He, they took him out for a couple plays. <laughs> but this video, man, it is coming to an end. So always remember, in the street we trust. I'm out.